Hi lovelies, how's everybody doing today? Today is week 30 for my BSG gastric sleeve surgery post-op. If you are new to my channel, I am, uh, I had the gastric sleeve surgery, weight loss surgery back in July 2nd of 2015 and I had it with Dr. Ortiz through alighterme.com and I went to Tijuana, Mexico. Woo, Mexico, oh my God, don't they botch there? No, they don't. Calm down, it's okay. <laughs> I did my research before I did anything severe, such as putting my life into somebody else's hands and getting cut up. I did a lot of research. I found a lighter me group on Facebook and uh, the whole experience overall has just been amazing and uh, a lighter me and Dr. Ortiz through a lighter me in Tijuana, Mexico was amazing. You could find all my experience and all that stuff in my prior videos. If you look down on the list, I'll, um, you'll find all my videos when I went to Mexico and my updates from when I went to Mexico. Anyhow, my starting weight was 220 pounds. My surgery weight was 208 because I lost about 12 pounds during pre-op diet uh, and recommended do not do the pre-op diet just as a regular diet. You're pretty much starving yourself on the pre-op diet. The whole pre-op diet was to uh, basically shrink the liver and you pretty much starve yourself and that is not a way to diet and that's why many people lose weight on the pre-op diet. You're pretty much starving yourself and it's not the healthy way to go. So that's the only reason why they have us do the pre-op diet is to shrink our liver so that way they can get under the liver easily without no complications. So I lost about 12 pounds and uh, I uh, uh, got one, did surgery at 208. The first month I lost like 20 pounds that was, and then since then I've lost about seven pounds a week. Last year I came at with a stall between 152, 151 to 153. I just kept on doing that play range. Well, the other day I had to get on the scale to weigh my son because he uh, he couldn't weigh himself, so I had to pick him up to put him on the scale. And I stepped on the scale, and the hospital scale is usually like two to three pounds heavier than my home scale, usually. So I don't know what I really am at home, but but as of yesterday morning, or was it two mornings ago? Anyhow. 149.7. You guys, I got past my stall. I am so happy. You have no idea I was doing the dance of joy. I, w I wanted to dance all around the hospital because <laughs> I got down to 149. I am four pounds away from my very first goal, which is 145. And then my next goal is to get closer to 135 because I want to have that play range between 135 to 145. And that way, if I gain weight, I'm okay with it. If I can lose the weight again, I'm okay with that too. So 135 to 145 is my play range, and I'm almost there. <laughs> Let's talk about the things that people say to me these days. Um, now lately, I'm getting a lot of people saying, oh, now you're just too skinny, and now you're looking too skinny. And I'm like, dude, that's the whole point, <laughs> is to be skinnier, not just healthier, listen. Mess up all y'all weight loss surgery patients out there. We want to be skinny. Don't just say it's just about being half. We want to be skinny too. So um, I'm honest and I'm blunt with being honest. And yeah, I want to be skinny. I want to fit in a size six jeans. So yeah, it's all a part of being healthy. But to be honest, we all want to be there. So be honest with yourselves. Um, I'm being honest with myself. Yeah, I want to. I want to fit in a smaller size pair of jeans. Um, somebody's trying to contact me on Skype here. So I'm so excited at being where I'm at, guys. Not only do I feel healthier, but I am feeling skinnier. And so when when people say, "Oh, you're losing too much weight," or "You're you're just too skinny. You don't need to lose anymore." Guess what? I'm gonna have about 10 about 10 more pounds to lose. Then. I can say, oh, okay, I'll slow down a little bit, maybe pick up my carbs so I can maintain the weight. Uh, I gotta be careful about picking up carbs. I gotta find that balance. When you do pick up and do your maintain, maintaining part of your weight, 
you gotta be have that balance in between healthy carbs and non-healthy carbs and stuff. So um, that's something I will be working on, and obviously I will document that. But however, um, I'm so happy to be here and really not much to report back today, guys. I am still in the hospital with my son doing treatments this week. It's been a really rough week, but we're getting through it and I'm happy and yeah, that's it. Oh, one more thing. If you're new to my channel, I'm not a paid sponsor, but I promote these. <laughs> Uh, these are Power Crunch bars. You can find them at Walmart, GNC, Safeway. I heard they were at Costco. I heard they were at Trader Joe's. Uh, listen, the whole box says that there is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Somebody thought there were like 22 grams of sugar in these. Um, no. I don't know where they're getting 22 grams of sugar, but that's not the truth. There's only 5 grams of sugar per bar and they're only one and a half ounces. And I can only eat maybe half to th three quarters of one and I get full. So that tells me I still have great restriction with my sleeve. But uh, the Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar tastes like a freaking wafer cookie. It is not those disgusting, chewy, pasty, gross protein bars. It tastes like a wafer cookie. I'm addicted to these and when I have that sweet craving, or you know a crunchy craving like I need to eat chips or something I'll pull one of these out and I'll start chewing on these these curb my cravings very quickly and very easily I recommend they have new ones I hear but this one's a my peanut butter cream is my favorite there's vanilla cream there's mint there's chocolate there's uh, gosh there's a new raspberry flavor out I may try that I may I'm not a raspberry fan but I will try it um, but peanut butter is my favorite and I can eat this all day every day for snacks I have it about two a day guys so I go through these a lot and you can get them by the box like this I think they're about six to seven dollars per box so I stack up on these I stock up on these and I set them in my cabinet okay I'll get you some hair. okay so anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Please press that red subscribe button down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, thumbs up and leave comments down below. Questions, comments about my experience. Let me know. I'm there to answer them. We will see you guys all next week for month seven. Post-op. OMG. Where's the time going? Okay, we'll see you later. Love you. Ciao. Bye.